What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, episode 4 of UFC 4 career mode. Last episode we uh, got our first pro contract and we accepted a fight with Eduardo Gutierrez. So we're going to get into the training camp, you can see like we can spar, invite fighter, watch tape, build hype. So we're going to get in some sparring, trying to earn some evolution points. I really want to work on my boxing um, because we need to be able to handle ourselves on the feet. So I'm going to start with that and yeah, let's see how we handle it. All right, so we just have to land body strikes. Oh, it allowed me to, it allowed me to land the um, kick. It counted the kick. I know it says land any body strike, but it's kind of weird considering I'm doing a boxing training session. But it's allowed that, um, but we'll take it. I mean, it makes it easier for us, right? Yeah, I tried to see if I could set that up. There you go. Okay, so now we get an evolution bonus on hook, so I'm gonna try and spam those a little bit. Or mix it up to the body to the head. Yeah. To be honest, I need to do a better job of trying to actually set it up. There's no point trying to just swing at it. That's better. See if we can get a few to the body. Good job. Yes, devastating punch. Not too bad. Great not job. ideal, but not too bad. So you can see our fitness went up to moderate there. So we want to kind of improve that towards peak. Try not to get into overtrained. And yeah, we get those evolution points. So we're going to keep continuing with some sparring. And yeah, let's, let's just try and get those points, level up our fighter early, so we don't don't get dominated once we get out into like the bigger fights. I mean, this will still be my toughest fight yet, maybe other than that intro fight. But I mean, that intro fight was definitely impossible to win. I know. I'm just saying that because the camera's on. Whatever. No, like for real. I I think it's impossible to win. Uh, I did have a look at some other people's series, and they are much better players than me, but they couldn't uh, land it. So this drill is super simple, right? So you don't actually have to land the hook, you just have to throw it. So I could stand over here and do that and it counts. So I'm, I'm gonna try and do it more realistically, but okay, maybe not because I'm getting the shaker kicked out of me by my training partner. Do you, do you mind? He wants revenge on me for that last one. Yeah, he is literally beating the shit out of me. There we go. Bonus on hooks. Let's throw some leg kicks in this as well because I kind of want to level those up. It can definitely be a useful weapon. Just to one, keep things, um, or keep the opponent guessing, but two, to um, just actually just slow them down and hopefully kind of weaken their takedown defense. But also, you can trigger another health event with the leg kick and then. Go up top to the head or go to the body. There we go, there we go. lead hook level 2. So that's that's what happens when you kind of spam. <laughs> well, you have to line it, but when you spam the um, move with a bonus. But we definitely want to take less uh, damage and punishment than that in sparring. It's not ideal, but yeah, I mean, this is going by pretty quick. So for now, for this video, I'm going to leave the training camp in just so you kind of get a feel for it and probably just do the one fight. And then you guys let me know in the comments uh, what, what you think, whether or not it's best to just do the fight, maybe a bit of the highlights of the training or not. Um, yeah, so for now, I'm, I am going to show you pretty much all of this um, training camp just so you get an idea of what goes on. And um, yeah, like I said, get get a feel for what is going on with the training camps but i think it will get a bit repetitive so for now um i'm gonna show it and do the one fight and then we'll see kind of based on your feedback what to do next i mean i've already kind of acted on your feedback so i was asked All to make right. the camera a bit Some bigger and Let's kind of have go. it more on my um Great speed on that car. more on my head and shoulders rather than so much background so I, i've tried to do that 
hopefully that is better for you guys that asked for it. Um, I was also asked to adjust my game sound kind of compared to my voice, so I'm trying to make myself a bit louder and drop my game volume a little bit. So yeah, I, we're, we're working on those things, and I, I hope that you guys notice the changes, appreciate the changes, and keep keep giving me uh, kind of ideas or things you'd want to see because. Yeah, I, I'm happy to hear it, and I want you guys to enjoy it, so let me know. And thank you guys for the support and the feedback I did get from all of you. I really do appreciate it. Um, definitely making the start of this kind of content creation journey much easier. I did kind of hit you with three uploads, like, all at once, I know. It's a bit weird. I record them all at once, so you won't have noticed any changes between any of those three videos. But hopefully from this video onwards, you'll notice some of the changes you guys have asked for will come into effect. I don't know how long this thing's gonna last. 570 viewers on the live stream. Keep working on that boxing damage. That's what I need. This is kinda weird. Don't worry about today. There's always tomorrow. Alright. Yeah, I just did that because I kinda wanted to see what it was, but that's quite a cool thing. Live stream your sparring session. Um you don't get any evolution points for it, so I'm not the biggest fan, but yeah, I mean, you gotta try, you gotta see. So <laughs> we might not be doing that too much, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice little um, feature that they've added to the game. I do quite like it. I will edit, edit out some of the longer loading screens. I am aware that it does break up the video a bit and kind of you lose some of the flow, but I am talking through half of them at the moment. So <laughs> it's going to be a bit difficult for me to edit that out, but um, that is something I'll work on. Definitely the longer loading screens. I'm not too bothered about um that kind of loading screen that wasn't too bad i am going to work on some bjj so i do want to be able to submit some people on the ground and i don't really know how to throw the running hooks which is one of the object which was the objective for the boxing so i don't really want to try and do that because I, I can't complete that challenge so we're going to let this guy take us down and we're going to try and work on the get ups so I'm glad they finally switched my um, my grappling controls to the legacy, like I actually have them on, not the advanced one they had on in the tutorials. Let's see if we can get this takedown. There we go. Did you do it? No, I don't have a leg lock from that. I might have one from Full Guard. I'm not too sure. We'll have to find out. Yeah, I do. There we go. Oh, he denied that. No, 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 no. I need you to improve that position. I don't want to improve the position. I want to get the leg lock, but I want his stamina to drop, but he's not trying to transition at all. Oh, and now he tries to transition. Oh, we denied that. Come on, transition. One more time. One more time for me. All right, 30 seconds left. I mean, we can just go for it and see. Nice work. Now, focus on locking that in. I don't know that we're going to get it, but... Yeah, we're definitely not getting that. That's what I like to see. You kept. I know I didn't like that. That was a bit weak, but I mean, we get some damage with the leg lock, so hopefully we'll get kind of progression towards upgrading it. I know I didn't really do much in that sparring session, but it's worth it for the evolution points and kind of just to level up your moves in the long run. Because as you level up your moves, they they obviously improve do a bit more damage and I think you reduce the stamina cost of them so it's definitely worth the grind um just have to keep an eye on our fitness so we're kind of at the top end of peak so let's watch some tape um let's see what kind of fighter is this okay so we're a two and a half star fighter he's a half a star so we should be all right he's a kickboxer all right so he does look a lot taller than me 188 yeah he's a lot taller than me um so we're probably going to be at reach disadvantage and we're definitely going to be at stand-up disadvantage, so I'm probably going to want to get this fight on the ground just for my own kind of safety, I guess. Um, because, yeah, otherwise we're going to be in for a rough night and we'll probably get knocked out, which, I mean, you guys might want to see that, but I don't really want to get knocked out this early into my career, so I think we will try and take him to the ground and finish him on the ground. Um, yeah, you can see there, so, uh, throw sprinting hooks. I don't actually know how to do that yet, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to go for the, um, BJJ and try and level up my submission game because it will be an important feature and an important part of this career mode. Um, I do like it. I do like the submissions. They are fun. Uh, I'm not the best of them at all. I'm hoping I will get better with time, but, you know, we've got to start somewhere. 
I have screwed this one up already. No, you can't just lay on top. What do you mean, just lay on top? I just reversed into there. Relax your ass. There we go. Oh, defending against transitions. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. That's my fault. Come on, kid. Let's go. That's my fault. There we go. We deny that. And then guillotine should be an orthodox choke, good, good. I believe. Nice setup on this mission. That's the Hopefully we'll get it. We had the stamina advantage. His bar is moving very quick though, but it's a very big bar at the moment. Because hey, he keeps I like moving it. it. I like it. Keep chasing that sub. Come on. 30 seconds left. I think we'll get nice it. Word. Nice word. Yeah, yes. definitely gonna get this. Focus on locking that in. Did did he escape? Did he, did he let him out of that or don't overextend yourself. I'm just gonna throw him, throw another one just to get that damage up on the guillotine and hopefully level right, up those off dog chokes. I, need you to I thought I got that one. No evolution points. Oh, I didn't deny enough transitions. I am an idiot. I am so stupid. Well, sorry guys, I, I just wasted that sparring session, but there you go. <laughs> you have something to laugh at. That's what happens when you get tunnel vision and go for the chokes. So yeah, I mean, we didn't get as many evolution points as I would have wanted. I'm not going to train too much more because I don't want to uh, get overtrained. So we're going to try and promote this a little bit. Get some popularity up. Let's see. Um, I guess we watch tape. What else can we do? Oh. I'm just gonna simulate this actually. It risks injury, but I'm gonna simulate it. Hopefully, we don't get injured. All right. So here's the real deal. Oh, sorry. Here's the deal. Dana White's contender series. Get a first round KO submission, and we guarantee a UFC contract. Uh, anything else that depends on what they think of your performances up to now. Let's make it easy for them and end it early. What do you say? Uh, yeah, I I would like to finish in the first round, but if I'm being honest, I don't really want to go straight into UFC. Um, it will make this whole process a lot harder. I'd rather kind of level up and improve and kind of learn my craft in the wfa before going into the ufc and by doing it that way you also enter kind of at a higher point in the ufc so rather than being unranked and kind of working your way up you get a few fights in the wfa and you end up being ranked in the um, ufc kind of straight away so i think that's the route i want to take so i'm gonna take my time with this fight I'm not gonna overextend myself i mean he has Oh, I have a reach advantage despite his height advantage, but he's a much better striker than me, I'm sure. Uh, he is a kickboxer, so we're going to take our time with this one, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Are you going to touch? Yeah, nice, okay. It's a good start from you. Touch your gloves, okay. Uh, he is supposedly a much weaker fighter than me, uh, being a half-star fighter, but I mean, he is definitely not stronger than me on the feet. He's already done a decent amount of damage there. But yeah, I'm going to try and soften him up with some leg kicks. Also get some levels on those leg kicks. I mean... Yeah, he's not really defending too much, but he is firing back. There we go. It's a nice leg kick. He hits, comes back with a combo. Nice combo. I want to stay out of range a little bit and kind of swing these leg kicks in. Okay, that's nice movement from him. Caught him with an overhand. Uh, trying to mix in these leg kicks still um, he is starting to check them a little bit but maybe we just change levels a bit keep him guessing might be the way to go yeah I'm not, I'm not a fan of him checking those leg kicks I don't want to be dropping leg health for longevity this early on I might have to stop throwing those because he's checked the last three in a row I think I thought I would just set them up better nah I'm going to have to stop throwing that he's just blocking it that one was a mistake, I know. I, I said I would stop throwing it and I threw it straight away. But that was a mistake. Caught him with a head kick. Dropped him. Okay. It's a good start, it's a good start. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want to happen. I need to stop spamming that. Let's see if I can shoot for the takedown. If it's gonna let me, yeah, there we go. See if we can kind of soften him up a little bit for the submission, maybe. 
the knockout. Also get some stamina back because I blew a lot of stamina throwing a lot of strikes there at the start. I need to be denying those. Damn, he is spraying blood everywhere. Boy, you are leaking. I don't know. Uh, damn it. On the um, the older UFCs on the THQ ones, they used to have um, Doctor Stop just now. I don't know if they have that in this one. I haven't seen anything about it, but um, I don't know. The amount of blood coming off this guy, I might find out. Ah, that's really poor, getting caught swinging again. We deny that, surely. No way. Can't believe they didn't give me that one. Okay, that's my bad. I, I denied the wrong in the wrong direction there, but some good damage on the ground there. Kind of soften him up a little bit. Hopefully for a submission later. Okay, again with the leg kick. I did say I'd stop throwing that. That's me being a moron. But yeah, we're mixing into the body now. Again, try and soften him up and just kind of drop his stamina bit because those body strikes do sap energy. So, it'd be nice. Okay, that is not what we want. We don't want to be getting our leg kick, oh sorry, our kicks caught and then just getting punched in the face or anything like that. So, we need to be careful with that. Nice, we catch him again with that body kick. I mean, we're landing to the body for sure. I'm not sure he knows what we're doing really. It's a nice takedown again, just shooting in. Oh, those are rabbit punches, we need bigger strikes than that. Missed that transition. I mean, I'm comfortable on my feet with him, I think. I am taking a bit more damage than I'd like. But again, that's just my poor defense, so I can't really complain. You can see when we land into the body, we do take a chunk out of his stamina. Especially with those kicks. Okay, that was a very slow kick. That's better. It's kind of weird. I, I mean, it says I have a reach advantage, but it doesn't really feel like it. I guess I, it's kind of deceptive because he just seems to tower over me. But he's not really striking as much as I would have thought he would. Just I say that and just eat a huge head kick. We don't want to be eating too many of those at all. Nice hip toss. Just gonna end the round with some control, soften up a bit more, and some big elbows in this position. That's a good round, though. I think we definitely got that first round. Just wanna soften him up and then go for the finish once I see he's a bit more worn down. Uh, so maybe go for a choke. I, I think I prefer the choke mini games. Um, like the one with the left stick. Uh, I don't know why. It's just personal preference, I guess. Um, I'm not really too sure about the kind of the meta or the mechanics of the uh, joint submissions. It's kind of a bit unclear in the community as well. Nice, there we go. Leg kick level two. Oh, we dropped him. Dropped him again. Let's see if we. Uh, I was trying to pass the side control. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was saying, so with the with the joint submissions, with the triggers, it's it's kind of unclear what the best way is at the moment. I don't think people really know just yet, but hopefully somebody or I find out soon and then um, we can start using those a bit more. I kind of want to be on his back, really. I would, I would like to be able to choke him out from kind of back sitting with a rear naked choke or something like that. That would be nice. Really big strikes here. <laughs> I don't want to keep spamming the arm triangle. So I've used I've won two fights with that already, but yeah, we can try and set something up here. Um, hopefully, wear down his stamina a bit. Probably need to deny some transitions to do that, but he's not trying to transition at the moment. You know what? I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna reset and see if I can get on his back. Maybe might even be able to do it from the clinch. Um, 
If I can get him up against the cage. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna let me... There we go. You deny that? No? Alright, well, I mean, we can just dump you back down. There we go. This is where we want to be. And I gave it up already. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess we just have to go for something else. really faking along with these transitions. Damn, let me posture, but I wanted to um, get the sub. To be fair, if it lets me finish him, I can just finish him. I think we need to get out here, yeah. Damn, that was a murder. Look at all that blood on the... Matt. I didn't realize we got cut actually, so maybe some of that's mine, but I leveled up the ground hook. Definitely a useful weapon. So we're able to control the fight on the ground quite a decent amount. It's a good first win in the contender series. So yeah, we'll definitely take that. And then we see what they've got for us next. Damn, he's busted up. Yeah, six and a half thousand cash, 1.3% longevity. I would like to get that down, especially in these early fights. I don't want to be um I don't know, I, I don't want to be getting my career mode ended because of my lack of longevity too early on. Although it's cool because you can go through fast and uh, have a fresh start, but I don't really want to be getting the career mode ended before I get to the title or something. It's a nice little social media camera angle, although this guy probably wants to move. He's got that guy's meathead in the way of the camera. You as well. Were you guys sitting in the same seat? Because, I mean, that is the same camera angle. Again, like, it's a nice little touch from EA. I like the... Kind of different views on uh, a new contract. Let's see. WFA, perfect, perfect. So this is where we want to be, in my opinion. Um, kind of level up our fighter. And then go into the UFC with a much better base than we already have. I do think that is the best way to go. Could be be Justin Gaethje on submission. I can see that happening in real life. Grapple him to death. I need a WFA fight right now. Nobody out there wants to smoke. Bro, I'll fight you. Who are you? <laughs> Ooh, damn. I mean, I, I want to smack toward this guy. I don't know. He just looks like a wet wipe. I don't like that neck tattoo. I don't like that guy. Let's see. Will it give us him as a fight? I mean, it tried shit. Hopefully get a fight against him. It didn't give us him, but I mean, we might get that guy next. Three week camp's quite short, but we'll take it. So yeah, we, we're going to get another fight in here. Um, next episode, this will be. So what's he saying? Um, if you build a positive relationship, you can... Okay. You can earn a, a training partner. And if you trash talk them, you get more fans. So we can try and balance that out th um, throughout the career. But I am going to end episode four there. Let me know what you think about having the whole training camp. I'm happy to cut it down. I will still have to do it anyway, but I, I will have to play through it just to get the evolution points on to level up. And I actually should have used my evolution points before I got into that last fight. So I have to remember to do that. But yeah, that will be the end of episode four. What is up, guys? So I just finished recording episode four of the UFC 4 career mode. And uh, well, I made a mistake. Uh, my camera is in the bottom left and it does cover the training instructions. So you guys won't have actually been able to see what I'm talking about I can't actually go back and edit it now because the way I record it, it's all overlaid kind of at the time of recording. So I can't really drag the camera out the way, unfortunately. Um, so um, for, it is going to just have to stay like that for this episode. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. Um, but for the next video and from now on, the camera will be on the bottom right where it is now. So that will hopefully resolve the issue. And I hope you still enjoy the episode. So don't forget to like, subscribe and stay safe, guys. See you.